Hi, my name's Danny and I write a blog called Food Urchin and I also write for Great British Chefs and today I'm going to show you how to make a jam roly-poly with a vanilla custard using A2 milk. If you've had problems using milk in the past, you should try A2 because you might find that's a bit gentler on the tummy. So what we're going to do is start off by mixing our dough ingredients together. We need some self-raising flour. I've got 225 grams going in there. When it's done, I just need a pinch of salt, and then I want to add my suet. Mix it all together, and then we want to slowly add some water. Six to seven tablespoons. Just blend it in. Take your time. Just use your hands just to, just to incorporate the flour and the suet and the salt together. Next step, we need to roll this out. I'm just using the pin, roll it out to about I don't know, 20 by 30 centimetres, like a rectangle. Now, I'm using seedless raspberry jam here, and I've just warmed it up ever so slightly on, on the hob, just so that we've got a nice kind of runny texture. What we want to do is just smooth it all around, and we, what we want to do, most importantly, is just leave a border on the outside. Now comes the roly-poly part. Uh, just pushing slowly away from you, just roll it across and again, I want to try and keep this quite loose. I've got my oven heated up to 200 degrees centigrade, okay. I've very, very lightly oiled this tin, just stick it in there. Once you've got it in your tin, just give it a liberal brushing of some milk. For an extra glaze, you can also just put some beaten egg over the top. And the last part of the parcel is to sprinkle some caster sugar over it. Okay, so I'm going to put this in the oven. Whilst that's cooking away, we can crack on with the custard. So I'm just separating the egg yolk here using my delicate fingers. Right, the first step that we need to take to make our lovely creamy custard is to beat our eggs with some caster sugar. Okay, to start off, we just need to pour in our A2 milk. I'm using vanilla paste. And one teaspoon is about the equivalent of a vanilla pod. Okay, now just stir that all in. And that should take about three or four minutes to bring to the boil. Grab yourself another saucepan, a larger one, and fill it with some water, and I'll show you what to do next. Once your milk has reached boiling point, take it off the heat, and this is the trick. Take the larger pan that has got the, the hot water in and set your saucepan inside. And then you can begin to whisk your egg yolks in. Just continue whisking, and as the egg yolks start to cook through, they'll start to thicken the custard. And slowly but surely, it will start to thicken up. Okay, and when you're done with your whisking, a surefire way to tell that it's ready is just to dip a wooden spoon in there and run your finger through it. And if a line appears, it's ready. All right, all we need to do now is slice up our jam roly poly and smother it with milk custard. And there you have it my jam roly-poly with A2 milk custard.